What's the crack, lads? And welcome back again. We are going to be taking a look at the Italian selection. We've already covered the Spanish and the English, and now it uh, is on to the Italian league selection. Now, there's 90 days left in these, so you don't have to clear it all at once. You can just pick away at this if you're staying free to play, because this is what these packs are geared towards. They're kind of like an intro pack. Instead of having to grind GP and having to save up a lot of GP for that method of doing, you know, players getting into GP marketplace, these cards are for uh, coins, which you can actually get for your login bonuses or any if you're playing the events as well. Any of those things that you can get coins for, you can save up these and with the login bonuses, you'll have a couple of hundred coins every month. Now, we are going to take a quick glance over these cards. I'm not going to go in too deep with these cards because a lot of them are kind of... Listen, these cards are at the race, are not at the races once you go past Division 3. And that might sound like kind of catch all advice and catch all kind of like, um, can you use these cards like basically uh, up the divisions? Of course you can, man. You can use any card that you want up the divisions. You can get to Division 1 with an 80 rated striker or an 80 rated center back without even leveling them. Do you know what I mean? If you're a good player, you can override a lot of stuff within the game, especially if it's two or three players in your squad rather than a full squad of 80s overall. But even at that, you can still do it. Now, what I will say is that these cards, you just need to make the decision whether you're going to grind for GP or you want to go the faster route of just spinning a couple of these and taking a, taking a chance at getting the likes of KSL Rafael Leao. You could spin this and you could get two spins, 200 coins, and get KSL Leao and dip out. And it would be a brilliant uh, pack for you. But if you spin six or seven of these and you get the lowest rated ones, you're kind of like, oh, I'm after wasting 600 coins and now I still don't have the players that I want. So I do feel like that you kind of nearly have to go into it preparing to clear the pack, which is 11 players, 1100 coins, which I think is a big price for what are essentially GP players. Now in saying that, right, we're just going to give a quick look through this. A lot of these cards don't have player skills. You see here with Bellanova. We'll show you the builds at the end of the video. Paredes, in my opinion, is probably the pick of the pack. He's a very, very easy to use anchorman. You will learn the game very quickly about what he does defensively and how good he is in a DMF role from just playing with this guy. His AI is really nice. I've played with this guy a good bit on my other profile on my Road to Glory on my Xbox account, which I have never really, I haven't played it in a long time. But this guy, him and Kamara from Aston Villa are beastly, beastly players in that DMF role. Very, very nice. He also has good tight possession and passing, which is what you want. And you don't need speed or agility or mobility on your DMF. We also have this guy here, uh, Retegoy. This guy has got unwavering form. Again, he's got very, very, very generic stats. He's a fox in the box. He's not quick. He's not fast. He's not mobile. He's not versatile. He's not tall enough to be a target man. He's not, he's not fast enough to be a running gun. And as I said, I'll show you the build. We also have our other winger here, Asule. This guy, is, this guy, again, man, it's just about pace and power with this guy. Um, he doesn't have much finishing. His passing isn't great. It's just there's these, these guys are there's so many of them in the game now. There's so many really good fast wingers that have no weakness, such as the likes of Diaby. Any of those guys, right? Any of those guys. So this guy, again, we have Scalvini. There was a really good free version of Scal Scalvini a while back. He does have a face upgrade now. Um, and he is a very, very solid player for a defensive player. He plays as a CB, as an extra frontman. I like the passiveness of him sometimes that he's not super aggressive. But even as an extra frontman, he still has good stats and good aggression stats um, and good speed. We'll show you his build. He's probably the second pick with Paridas. Kiesa, you know what you're getting with Kiesa. He has had his best version with the Blitz Curler. But use him as a super sub, as an impact player, really, really, really solid. And you can also give him ball roll if you give him uh, double touch. He does have double touch, but he needs soul control and flip flap. Very, very good acceleration, speed, everything that you could possibly want. I think this Italian pack is quite weak, actually. It's probably the weakest of them. Well, the Spanish pack isn't great either. Rafael Leao probably makes up for it. If you haven't got Rafael Leao, I personally don't rate him when you're talking about the top 10 players in the game. I don't rate him, even as a standard GP. If you're looking at the best GP players in the game, I don't rate him as highly as some others. Some people rate him as their number one, um, and I don't. But I do think that he is still a beast. He offers you very, very, very different gameplay on the wing or through the middle. Now, this guy is down as a prolific winger. His form is inconsistent, which is a bit of a bust on him, but he does have super sub, and that is exactly where I would use him. And of course, he has ball roll off the rip as well, which is really nice. A good card if you do get it, and I'll show you the build for him, the best build. Standard goalkeeper, not going to get too much into it with him. He doesn't even have any player skills, so we're not going to get into it with him. And also, we do have Salamakers there as well with the 80 acceleration, pretty decent, but very little skills. The question I would say, or the thing I would say to you boys, right, and I've said it in the English pack uh, selection and the Spanish pack pack selection if you're not playing this game that long right or even if you play this game on and off sporadically 
why get a player that has weaknesses when you can just get a player for pretty much exact same thing with GP that has no weaknesses? You know what I'm saying to you? Like, why go for a left back that is limited with his aggression or limited with his defensive awareness but has good speed when you can get a left back that has good speed and isn't and, and good de- defense for a similar price? You know what I mean? Or else for free sometimes. So it is kind of weird sometimes with these packs that... I'd love to see who's actually getting these packs. And, and, and if you are getting these packs, let me know why in, in the comments below. But let me know, because I think these packs are kind of a disappointment, to be honest with you. They're, they're basically GP packs. Last but not least, we do have Bonaventura then as well. And this guy has got some nice player skills. One touch pass, double touch, chop, turn, rise, and shot. But again, it's a whole player that's going to be a dime a dozen, right? And I feel like I'm really down on these packs. That if you've got these packs and you're like, oh, I just was looking to come here for the levelings. We'll show you the levelings, man. These are the levelings that I've gone with here um, on all these players. And you can just have a glance at those. You can pause the video here if you want and have a look. Make sure and check out the live stream as well today and my other English League uh, pack as well. But yeah, I mean, these are the levelings here. You've got Kiesa, 097114. You've got Rafael Leao, who's going to have really nice dribbling, uh, 80 type possession with the manager boost, speed and acceleration really high, balancing and finishing pretty decent. There is Scalvini. He's actually a really solid player. He's going to have the defense right up into the 90s apart from tackling and the speed at 80 of course you're also going to have your right winger that's going to be all about speed and Salamakers is the same all about speed and then we also have our center forward again these guys just aren't really that good lads they're they're average players man they're average players Paredes is pretty decent with that aggression and tackling and of course he did he does still have really nice low pass and last but not least we have Bonaventura and of course, we do have Bellanova. So yeah, this guy's got 99 speed, which is which is nice. Um, but everything else is kind of a bit down. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back later on in about an hour or two. We will be live streaming for our Friday sesh and getting our Friday frenzy on. We're going to be playing some challengers. So if you have what it takes, come and play us. A little bit of co-op to kick us off. And then we're going to be going into grinding divisions and talking about a couple of new rumors that we've seen and heard about eFootball 2024 seasons 5 and 6. And eFootball 20 or eFootball 2025 and eFootball 2024 season five and six. So we'll get into all of that in the stream. Until then, lads, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you in a little bit. And also, let me know if you're getting these packs, lads. Are these packs something that you're actually going into and clearing? Or is it just a case of is it just a case now that you have your team, you're kind of set with your team? Any player that you get now is going to have to be extraordinary or it's going to have to be a nostalgic factor. That's where I think the game is kind of lacking at the moment is that there is no reason to open spins. If you've got Romario 